Thanks for joining us. Let's go see the tired old queen at the movies. Oh, John's coming over for Happy Johnny! Happy New Year! Come on! Oh, Happy New Year, Johnny! We are doing John Nagulesco's Three Coins in the Fountain from 1954 to kick off the new year. This movie is basically the first of a classic, classic formula of three girls coming to the big city and what happens. The three girls in this case are Dorothy McGuire, Jean Peters, and Maggie McNamara, and the city is Rome, shot in Cinemascope. At this point, uh, the studios were trying to get people out from the televisions, and so 20th Century Fox had developed a Cinemascope process, and they were shooting everything they could on every location possible to fit this format. This was the first time that Cinemascope was shot and used outside of the country. So Negulesco just went to Daryl F. Zanuck and said, let's just bring, instead of hiring you know, a foreign crew, let's bring our regular team who know how to use this and take it all to Rome, and that's what they did. This film is so gorgeous to look at. Cinemascope, Technicolor, Rome. If you've never been to Italy, this movie captures Rome so beautifully. This is a travelogue, essentially. The plot is kind of flimsy. Dorothy McGuire is the secretary to Clifton Webb. She's been in love with him for years, and he's never really paid her any attention. Do you know what people say when I mention I work for you? <laughs> Something envious, I presume. They say, oh, I thought he was dead. Jean Peters works at this American office. There's a translator there played by Rosano Brazzi, who's in love with her, and they kind of start to get together. I heard you were returning to America, Miss Anita. I shall... we shall miss you. Thank you. And Maggie McNamara is the apple, you know, cheeked American girl who comes to Rome. Gosh, this is quite a city. <laughs> this is your apartment? You like it? I'm over. <laughs> Secretaries live very well in Rome. You'll get spoiled after a while. She falls in love with uh, Louis Jordan, who is a prince. Louis Jordan, of course, was French, but, you know, they put him in every single country and he played whatever he played. Have they been telling you disgraceful things about me, too? Oh, no. Well, that's too bad. If only half the things said about me were true, I'd be a happy man. Rosano Brazzi, Oh, so hot in this movie. There's something about him. He even made Catherine Hepburn seem sexy in summertime. He and Gene Peters are just, they just collide when they hit, when they make love. You know that she really, they had, she had a good time making this movie, I got a feeling. He is madly in love with her. He brings that continental flavor to it and is wonderful. Clifton Webb is Clifton Webb. You know, he always seems homosexual, but in this one he's supposed to be straight. The possibility of arousing unsuspected passion at my age would be not only disturbing, but rather miraculous. You know, she's in love with him and they, that all kind of works out. And Maggie McNamara was a star who came on uh, right at the same time as Audrey Hepburn, which was kind of unfortunate because Audrey Hepburn was the dark beauty and she caught the public's eye more than Maggie did. Well, I guess now is as good a time as any to disillusion you. Maggie had done a movie called The Moon is Blue and got an Oscar nomination for it because it was sort of risque. Don't you think it's better for a girl to be preoccupied with sex than occupied? Then she made this, then she made a, a movie called Prince of Players, which was about the Booth acting family. She had a torrid love affair with Richard Burton, and then her career kind of petered out. Uh, Otto Preminger brought her back to do The Cardinal, but she eventually petered out and, and she took her life. But in this, she's sort of the, you know, she's the ideal American virgin who comes to Rome, and, you know, she's, she's a little bit calculating, which is kind of nice. And do you know what wine she likes? Lacrima Christi. No. Yes. Yes. But the major thing in this movie is the travelogue of Italy. I was fortunate enough to go to Italy for my 50th birthday a few years back, and Italy changes you. I went to Rome and Florence and Venice, and I've never forgotten it. And I always kind of look for movies that 
you know, do each one of these cities justice. And this one definitely does Rome justice. Somewhere in the heart of Rome, which one? It has a wonderful score. The song, three coins in the fountain. Frank Sinatra sings it at the beginning and it won the Academy Award for best song of the year. Over the Man That Got Away that Judy Garland sang The Star Is Born, but we're not going to go into that. Anyway, uh, this movie was up for Best Picture, Best Cinematography. The public ran to this movie. Um, it was made to be seen on a big screen. It's light, it's frothy, and I think it's the perfect way to start the new year. So, I was happy to give you Dorothy McGuire, Gene Peters, Maggie McNamara, Clifton Webb, Rosano Brazzi, and Louis Jordan in Jean Negulesco's Three Coins in the Fountain. And from me and Johnny and the whole crew at Tired Old Queen at the Movies, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Bye. No, 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 no. Let's all go to the lobby. This Let's movie is gloriously shot. <laughs> to get ourselves a treat.